Hello, it's Ricardo, and welcome back to Elite Dangerous. We're going to have a little go today at the background simulation once again. Um, we're in the Hereshif system, I think. Or at least we're round there anyway. Uh, if not, we'll get ourselves over, get ourselves into a suitable ship and go and blow the living stuffing out of somebody or other. Coming up to the end of my holiday. I've had off work. A little bit sad. A little bit glad to go back to work. Fathers will know what I mean. Certainly will. We all know what we mean. Where are we? Right, I'm not even anywhere near that, so that's okay then. So, um, let's go to a galaxy map. <clears throat> Where is the... Have a shaft system. Not far. Let's get ourselves over there. It is but a short jump. Um okay. Let's move. So if you're all having a fantastic Saturday, I'm having a pretty good Saturday, all things considered. Um had a haircut. Tidied my office, so to speak. What else did I do? Took the kids and then her indoors out for something to eat. Got to eat, see. Got to eat. Um, usual crap. Housework, all that rubbish, all that uninteresting stuff. Paul, how are you doing? And Zoom. How are you doing? Marco, 07. You all get the 07, Commander. Uh, hope you're all doing okay this, this lovely Saturday. Sun's out in Wales. Absolutely hammered down yesterday. Absolutely hammered down. You were like, oh my god, what are we doing? Um, you are clear of the station. Until next time, Commander. Go, 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 gadget arms. That way. Now, you may have heard, a lot of you, that we're going to be thinking about at the end of the month, going off on an explore, exploratory mission in one of Simon's many carriers. So you've got a little bit of time to tool up, so to speak, if you fancy putting in an alt account on this carrier. We're off and we ain't coming back. We'll still be streaming our main accounts, obviously, but... Um, this will be another account to go out there and explore the wonders of the Elite Dangerous Galaxy. Just something good, something to behold, and we'll be looking to, to leave around the end of the month. It's being the month of April. So, good stuff. All good stuff. Oh, only a few cans of root beer left. So there you go. And because I've been away from work and what have you, I have been completely oblivious to what's been going on in the Elite Dangerous Galaxy. And that has suited me fine because sometimes a break is as good as a rest, as they say. When I last logged on, there was this. Top 75. I didn't even I didn't even get any rewards. Was it top 75 or top 50, I think it was. Right. What about this bunch? Oh, well I got something for the cutter. Woo! Just not the Imperials. There we go. Yeah, I mean, I think what it is, Zoom, right? Get a ship, get it tooled up, and then transfer some modules over as well. Like mining or something, you know. I've got a, I'm taking a Python, a DBX, um, and a... 
heal back. Ship I don't normally use. Some different ships. There's the old Golden Lear. That's the ship we're leaving on. And we'll update via people via the, the community section on the channel when we're all due to leave. Give people a lot of time. Ugh. Shira Metz v Doc. Let's get over there and bring a ship in and we can do some Sell your alts carrier. Well, it's going to be doing effectively nothing if you come with us, unless you decide to, you know, take the the cheating way back. An imperial eagle. Ah, good stuff. Yes, actually, I, I've got an eagle there as well, a normal federation eagle. Just a bomb about him, you know. And I got some. Um, I've got a fighter bay, I've got a... Everything's got surface scanners, I've got some mining equipment, I've got some um, SRVs, just normal SRVs, never mind. Cool. And that's it, you know, what's the worst that could happen? Charlie, the Imperial Flight Operations Bureau offers their <laughs> <English> greetings. <laughs> oh my god, that's funny. Do you know what? That is funny. Um, take a sidewinder in case you find a table with a wobbly leg. <laughs> Either that or a further land save. Um, yeah, good one. Good one. Oh, that's the first really good laugh I've had. Pad number six is... Get ourselves in. And... Down. Explore a minor race. What have you got here? Manage my ships. What have I got? I've got one of those. Um, let's bring a. Decent ship over for doing some combat. I'm actually looking to bring in my little lamp. That bloody rubbish that is. Um, I'm sick of the Thargoids at the moment. Utterly sick of them. Can't be out doing the, the Thargoid stuff. Look at all these ships. Where's my further lance gone? Am I blind? There it is. Did a bit of work on this. Imperial hammer rail guns. Alright, so we got some ships on their way over. That's good. A Mamba was around here somewhere. Help me, Mamba. Help, help me, Mamba. Uh, cannons, cannons, railguns. Yeah, we'll try it. What's the worst that can happen? Right, okay. While we're waiting for all that, we will... Ah. Disembark, everybody. We're going to get out. Do some ground missions. Ah. Uh. 
Yeah, so the um, Off Somewhere Else tour, like I say, will be starting end of April. Courtesy of the Commander Simon. Okay, here we go. Do, 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 do. Go to the concourse. Oh, dear me. So, yes. So, did a bit of organisation around during the office. Hung all my Star Wars helmets up on the wall on Micah's Micah, um, motorbike helmet stands. Um, had a good tidy up, really. Which is what I wanted. I wanted a good tidy up. Let's have a look. We got you. Zan Chem, that's who we want. Combat, what are we doing? We'll do that all day long. Accept that mission. High threat. We laugh at high threats. Uh, operations. We'll do them a little bit later. Yeah, we'll kick off with that, I think. Nice and easy. Nice and easy does it. What have we got over here? Hello, Chief. If I don't have it, it's not worth having. Let me br I'll let you know. What's he Good got? Idea. He's got a suit. Make sure you got the right suit for the that job. That Artemis suit there. I could have done that. Done with that on my other account. You know what I'm saying? I could have done with that. And what's it got? Damage resistance. I got Going exploring, huh? Well, the Artemis is the perfect choice of suit. And then, genetic sample we got here. standard and all I the air capacity you could want to breathe. Is that everything? Bye. Watch your back out there. Right. Let's go then. Larissa Wolf. I want to book a long range shuttle. Because I'm not in the mood for flying anywhere today. We're going to go to Raiden Wither. And we're going to go, let me see, points of interest. Who do we need? Raiden with a crew. Right then. Raiden with a crew. There you are, Raiden with a crew. Easy. There's a leisure there. Command center. Gotta have a go at that, haven't we, eh? Gotta have That's a go perfect. at that command I've center. I've confirmed your flight. Thank you for choosing Apex Interstellar. There you go. So we're gonna go in here. We're gonna we're gonna cap some people. Kaboom, kaboom, kaboom. Hopefully I'm not being too cocky. Um and take them out. What we're gonna do. Shuttle's ready. I don't need that. Joystick at the moment to be a corner of the ship's turn up. Okay. What's wrong with the bloody frame rate on this? I get three frames a second. It's been a NVIDIA driver update. Okay. This is terrible. Options. <sighs> Display quality. Well, oh, nothing's changed. It should be better than this. We'll have to wait and see. J07 Commander, hope you're doing okay today. All right then, make sure we haven't got anything else fruity running. So, um. Let's see. We're jumping into hyperspace in just a moment. Okay better. So we're going to go in, we're going to fly into that base, we're going to land, we're going to shoot 
everybody. Um, and we're going to get on with it. And by which time, some people might have joined. But by doing missions for the Zan Chen, right? We need to re we need to build up their influence. That means we'll expand then the Herishath area of things. Who's that? Kestius. Oh seven, Commander. Thank you very much. Nice to get a good like from our friends on Facebook. Basu's command. Now this entire area, Simon and Mike have facilitated, along with me in some stage, in regards to the background simulation, by doing missions here for a certain, certain faction. Uh, Simon's creating a fantastic playground here of anarchy systems. Come in here and just get your pews on, right? Um, you know, and that's what it's all about, really, getting your pews on. Yeah, polish his head for a quid. As we can see, my trade rank is Elite 2. Combat rank, Elite 1. Hmm. Okay. So, Bazoo's command. What am I wearing? Well, I am wearing. Uh -uh. Good old Maverick suit. Grade 5. Uh, really should do some more engineering on the weapons, right? Because I'm lacking engineering on the weapons, which is a shame. Um. Got the pistol and the shotgun. Everything's going to be fine. You watch. Famous last words, that. Everything's going to be fine. Right, come on. Basil's come out. It's taking forever. Good old Apex taxis. Sphereland. <laughs> Is your trip for business or pleasure? Both. <laughs> I'm an assassin. All good stuff. Oh, we're going to loot this place stupid. And hopefully there'll be some weapon prints there. So I can do some more weapon upgrades. And of course, we're going to loot the hell out of it anyway. We're going to grind it up. So for those of you who don't know where I am, I'm in the Raiden Wither system, which is kind of like our playground. Um, for areas not too far away from where all the action's happening. You know, it's quite good. It's a bit scary, actually, because the Thargoids are on their way in. Seems to be no stopping that bunch. Um, and as you can see, we're going to exterminate Raiden with the crew members. No dramas. You've started watching night. So what's that, then? Something vampire-ish, I'd imagine. Okay, we're approaching our destination. Night. Right Control. down. Here. Apex is two nine ready for docking. Just let me know. We're about to land. We're about to land, everybody. Right, get the lasers out. We're coming in. Oh, they've got power, all right. Goliath in the air. Let's 
Oh, night agent. Ah, yes. Right, okay. Yeah, um... I started one. Oh, four, five, in. And then, to be fair, I fell asleep. Okay. Let's go, go, go. Shooters, shields. Dangerously low temperature. I'm going down. Now. Just go. Gunfire. What was next? Nothing here. Continuing sweep. Wait till they give you an opening. Ugh. Wait till they give you an opening. thought I was going to die, and you're probably right. Okay. What have you got? There we are. Look. Moving to flank, he said. Go away with your shields. Where are they? Ah! Is there more coming? Bloody hell, it's natural throw shields at me week, is it? And there's more coming. Well, oh, that's go. just wonderful. Couple of people there with three. Don't make it easy for them. And he's got a rocket launcher. Where is everybody when you need them? Come on, we're running away. You need to be running away here. Oh, I died. Just like so I got that. Damn, that was good though, wasn't it? Hey. Run! Oh no! Damn it. There I was going, oh, we're going to go in there, we're going to shoot him. And it was going fine at that point. Simon! It was all going wrong at that stage. Yes, they were a little bit irritated. Ooh, that was fun though. We should do that again. I'm doing fine, Simon. How are you doing? So I'm in the Herishaf system. Doing a bit of combat. Well, there should be, Jake, there should be some, some new weapons for Thargoid combat, if that appears. I mean, it's the next logical choice. 
Yeah, I'm waiting for my ships to arrive so we can go and do them. Um... He's looking for someone to do some work. Said. Hey. Team inv team invitation received. Mission book. Combat. Gem. I'll I'll do the that's an illegal mission. Can't be happy with all that. What else have we got? Take a package to put up there. Have a look what we got. Invitation. There it is. Thank you very much. Transactions. I've still got that on the go, so I think we can go back there and do that again because that was good fun. Um, Welcome to Apex Interstellar. Where can we take you today? Oh, the unfoot, on foot goods. Uh, I don't want a local, but we'll do a local shuttle. Let's go and do a delivery mission quick. Get us on That's the That's perfect. Have a good trip. Uh, and then while we're waiting, transactions. Raiding with the crew members. Share that mission with Simon. Okay. In the dark and the rain, took my dog for a walk today, which, for those of you who follow the stream, was a bit tense because he's gone blind with diabetes. So it's very like feeling his way around. It's very sad. But we did a little walk today. Um, which was good. It's good for me. It was good for him. You know, it's, it's rough. Uh, what's even rougher, although no pun intended, is the fact that they want four grand for the cataract operation. So the dog can see again. Yes, the dog is blind. Yes. Thanks for choosing Apex. Yeah, I get it. So, so it was good. He got out, got out and about. Um, like I say, it was good for me. It was good for the dog. Great stuff. And I said, I need some time here today to go out here, do a bit of streaming and just switch off. You know, because it's been one of those weeks today. I, I don't know. I have, the week we've had, it's been really rough. But hey, that's just the way. That's how the cookie crumbled. That's kids. Um, so. Next up. Simon's at Simon's Wiggle Wagon. And we're waiting to jump. Bit of air do that, innit? Curls everywhere. We are going to go back and we're going to have a go at that. I'm, I'm going to be a bit more cunning. Oh, black box retrieval. Nice and easy. Nice and easy, that is. Drop in, buy your collectors, picks the crap up, hope no one drops in behind you. Time to foxtrot Oscar back to base. That's what it's all about with black box retrieval. <laughs> They're all yours, are they? Let's have a look. Peace Force Command. The Golden Lear. Fire. Lira, um, and the Wiggle Wagon.
shut it down. I didn't see that there, was I? I didn't see it doesn't mean it's not there. Platinum mining. You know what I feel about mining in this game? I think it's absolutely boring. Boring, boring, boring. Ugh. Um but you know I haven't done it for a while, so it's amazing, isn't it? Okay, so we're going to go and deliver a package. Oh. We're going in. Nice planet this time. Tree pollen. It's tree pollen season, everybody. Good old hay fever. Fantastic. So we're going to deliver this package off back to that base. Shoot everybody. Job done. Should get a nice graphical view here. Look at that. Ah, lovely. And who says this game is tired? Okay. We're in. There's the base. What's going on down there? Oh, I see. Ah, right. See. I get it. The sun is cresting. Day is dawning. As the light comes over. Look. All good stuff. Come on, take a package to Emily Hale. On a Texas Sunday morning. Looks a bit, doesn't it? Right, let's go. Stay safe out there. Stay safe out there. We'll try and stay safe, but I can't promise anything. Should be a monitor in here. There is. Staff list. Emily Hale. 500 meters that way. Apex, long range booking. Let's get one in. A Raiden Wither. Because it shouldn't take too long to get get on with it. I'm going to do the same the same place. Right, let's get over there and. Actually, no. Hey. Hello, you Emily Hale. Pleasure to meet you. Did you bring? I got a package so for you. Seem. Thanks for bringing this to me. Stupid. Ben. Just a minute, Commander. Want to make sure you're behaving yourself. Please don't shoot me. You're clean. 
I'm so surprised. Don't call me Fingers Ricardo for nothing. Gotta get something. Gotta get something for nothing on these missions. Here's the shuttle. Come on, hurry up. I want to get back, get me pews on. And we're off ski. Oh. Hello, take a seat and get comfy. So yes, uh, before Simon came on, we were talking about the Off Somewhere Else tour that is going to be happening towards the end of the month. We will be going uh, on one of Simon's many carriers, um, the okay. Exeg 99, which is in the Hera shaft system, and we're using Alter Count. Transfer some ships, some modules, and we're off, and we're not coming back on that account. <laughs> Although, actually, it's the Golden Leer. Oh yes, we are going on the Golden Leer. Um, you see, that's why we have Simon here, because Simon knows who's in. And we're off, and we're not coming back. But then, never say never, because you never know what's going to happen. You never know what's going to happen. But like, like a lot of us, I mean, I had an account on Steam, because it was on offer. I've got my general account, that I'm using now. Then we had one because of the Xbox migration. Right. And then, um... Pretty sure I've got another one somewhere on Epic Games. That's just the leak dangerous, that's nothing. Want to see that. Um, but no, I mean Elite Dangerous Odyssey I think was 70% off or something last week. I'm not sure if it still is today. Okay, so here we go. We're back um <laughs> on our way to Bazoo's command. So ships are starting to arrive at the station. There's my Corvette. My Ferdy's arrived. All good stuff. Well, yeah, I mean, getting into the star fields, we should have some... Um, some good discoveries. That's right, so if anyone else is, wel is welcome to join, but we're saying we're not coming back, so don't use your main account. Because um, we're off. And then the carrier's got all the mod cons. It's got um, your genomics, got your, got your shop, you've got your bar, you've got um, a shipyard. That's it. And I've put a few different ship builds on there. A miner, an explorer, and a fighter. And the pilot. Because that's a good su space superiority ship. In my opinion. Alright, let's hope I don't get killed again this time. Because that would be embarrassing. That would be really embarrassing. Exactly. That's exactly what I'm going to do. So we're, we're going to do um, some streams as well as we start to explore. But because we've got another account here as well, if anything happens with the bargoids and in the bubble and, and stuff, we haven't got to come all the way back and waste all that exploration data. What you can do is just switch accounts, which is good stuff.
So, let's try this again then. I think the exploration side of it is quite interesting. You know, you're going to get a different palette. Really. Um, other than just the, the standard bubble palette. So you're going to have a different star field. You're going to have that different sort of like night backdrop. Um, and get your Artemis suit on. All good stuff, right? This is Apex 472 requesting docking. Requesting docking. Oh yes. Here we go. We're going to try this again. Prepare for landing. Yeah, you're right. I'm looking forward to you. Know, a, a different visual for Elite Dangerous. And to showcase how nice it is. You know, outside of you know, typically where we've been. Right. Now, I've got grade 5 rated stuff here. Here we go. Have a nice day. Have a nice day, they said. Right, here we go. People are looking. They're looking for me. There he is. This, this might be going a bit better than it did the last time. That's not. Can I have some shields, please? I didn't turn them on. Uh -huh. around the back way. Do a reload. with a pistol. Right in the sausage, then. Run. Shooters, I would be stuck. Run, run, run. Shields, please.
wasn't going to shoot that with a pistol, was I? Here they come. I want to get inside. I want to get inside. I want to get inside. Uh, yeah. Shield gone. Uh, friendly down. Just off. Uh, Look at all this. Yes, I think I can win. Oh, for God's sake, where is it? There it is. One of these will do nicely, my good man. Okay, shooters out, and now we're in. Oh yes, indeed. Now it's this is what it's all about. Building schematic, ship schematic, building. We'll have some of that. We'll have some of this. What we got in here? A little bit of that too. Ooh, a little bit of data. data. Nice. I know, I know. I do like it. I forgot my shields. I know I'm an idiot today. My head's all over the place. Chips. Ammo. Things were getting quite hectic there, mind you. I was starting to doubt myself. Uh, what have we got in here? Scans, take that off. Alarms, alarms! Nothing else to report. Moving on. Or the devastation. Nobody in there. That's fine. Cause I think bad to everybody. Data. What do we get in this big cupboard? I've not been to a base like this for a while. Building schematic. There's your canisters over here. Well, if you need building schematics, it seems that I'm the man, okay? Right. Do, 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 do. They're keeping it open. Thank you very much. 
There's the power center. Okay. Did I miss a place there where I can turn the guns off? Did I miss that? I must have. I know I missed this. Not to worry, not to worry, not to worry, not to worry. Personal documentation. I did that, I did that, I did that, I've done that. There's nothing over here, that's where they sleep. Turn the open. Interesting. It must be a new base layout. I've not seen this one. Did all this. That's the alarms. So usually there's a place where you can turn the guns off. Interesting. Okay, move up. Do all that. I mean, to be fair. Power center shut down. Power center shut down. Power center shut down. nowhere else nowhere else to go to shut them down is there or am I severely missing something I think that's it it's all in one little area Interesting, interesting. Okay. I think we did it anyway. Certainly shot enough people. Let's get that charged up. Torch off. Sixty seconds ish. Hmm. Okay, just gotta wait now. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Well it was that time. I scan in. Sounds like an adult film star. Hmm. Okay. Up and over. Back in via the hab. Should be coming down to it now. 
Yeah, it's all kicking off, isn't it? Hello. Thank you. Torch, we can see where I'm going. And off into the night. Which is going to be very dark, as you can see. Try and gain some distance from that base. Bit rocky this terrain though, isn't it? Okay, 77 meters. Keep on running, keep on running, keep on running. We're running. Uh, here we go. Right. Jola Taxi, says Savvy. Um, take me back to Sheremetsi Dock. Right. Put the fuzzer in the air. Getting off here is going to be interesting. Going to be very interesting. Go on, shuttle, where are you? There he is. Where is he going to land? For some reason, come on, dude. <sighs> Why does it do this? Just say, hey, okay, it'll pick you up over there and if it's 500 meters away right from a base that's where it picks you up so you know where you can head out don't know what the thinking is in some regards this game all right that ships over there let's see if we can get away with it can we shall we Okay. Building schematics. I mean, come on, we'll just leave them where they are. Um, assets. Consumables, assets, goods. I like my power regulators. Okay, we can get rid of the rest. Is 
Is it gonna, gonna let me take off or are they gonna shoot me down? We're being shot at. Go, go, go. Look at this! Shoot the taxi. No. Well, we knew that was going to happen. Let's face it. Bloody rescue rangers. Will that count as me leaving? Then? I don't know. Probably not. Probably not. Welcome to Shermetsvi Dock. Oh, it did. I actually did, even though I died because I was a very naughty boy. Um, it wasn't a complete waste. Influence what we need. Right, now, I got ships here. Manage your ships. I don't know. Let's go with that one. Okay. I need something nice there. Like, oh, I don't know. A nicely tuned up weapon. Like that. For that one. Right. Um, and it ships. Help me, Mamba. Help, help me, Mamba. Three cannons, one railgun. Might work. Or we'll just use the badger's fang, because we know what we're doing. We know what we're doing. Right, okay. Um, crew lounge. Let's get some crew on. Um, blah, 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 let's get some limpets. That'll do for me. Missions. Mission board. Combat. Zanchem. If we just know that they're going to want 72 of them, that's exactly what we're going to need. Um, freelance, what's all this about? Black box salvage. Yeah, we'll have all of that. Perhaps we should go into a smaller ship, that sort of stuff. Then again, we can fight off who we want. So, okay. Um, we'll have that one. And we'll have that one. All these black box salvage operation missions. Let's just do those two for the time being. Um, okay, exit. Launch. Bit overkill, I know, but... I think really... System is there. Right there. Where are we gonna go? Up we go. Detachment sequence Up in the air. Please observe safe speeds when traversing the docking bay. Yes, once again, we're in the Corvette. Perhaps my most used ship of the game. Especially when it comes to combat and things like that. Now 
and jump in. Lots of shields on this thing. Lots of guns. My go-to ship if I need to go loud. Okay. Go to the nav beacon. Because why wouldn't you? Now, people might be able to do us a little bit of mischief, but I'm alright with that. I'm interested in doing some good old assassination missions, to be fair. Blowing the living stuffing out of people. Disengage. Where's the... Where's the beacon bacon? There it is. of areas here. Look, I just... Oh my god, where is it? on my transactions panel. Currently unknown. Scan required. Okay. And if that's what I did got the scan at the beacon. Okay. Am I missing something? Apparently I'm missing something. What have I done wrong here, Simon? box mission is not showing up. Oh, here we go. I've scanned everything. Scan the nav beacon. Yes, I'm going to go back and scan it again just in case I'm stupid, but I did. And it's showing up as there being nothing here, so we'll go scan it again. Oh, I'll tell you what. 
I'll go to the... To that one. And then I'll jump back in and see if it's any different, right? Because you never know. These things generally just work. Because, ah, yes, there it is. And you go to there on the nav panel, and away you go. It says, location unknown. Oh. Let's do the other one. Right. Okay. Brilliant. Objective detected. Here we go. Yeah, this is... And there's a Mentia 11, it said. So perhaps I have been redirected. Perhaps not, I don't know. It's a potential location. Okay. Please don't be on the planet. change these oh, I'm bloody close all right here we are look I know, colour scheme is a pain sometimes. But usually there's a bar going through it, so... There's me thinking it was a nice, easy, simple... I bet you... It's on a planet, isn't it? Bloody hell. So much for that nice and easy mission. I don't know. Currently unknown, that's the other one. And then, nav beacon scan, shipping lane, young city to Amentia B11, so. We get a different ship. It's like trying to bring a hammer to clean the dishes. I just showed the shipping lane. Which is strange. Not had that.
Yeah, it just means en route to that planet. I selected up by I thought. <sighs> Typically not the smoothest of streams so far, everybody. Never mind the way. Let's get a more nimbler ship. Oh, because they have a bar going through it. It's a highlighted bar. And you've got the planet next to it. Mm. Yeah, it's all very good changing your colours. Okay, then let's just play in some very daft and dump something. Contact, administration. Right. That ship should have what I want. Back to Olympic controller. And a tree hanger. Right. Cargo hold at maximum capacity. Outfit in. Got a bit of space. No, I haven't. is a bit of space and the rest of military compartments which I don't want so we'll use that weapons that's kind of all we're gonna need um Seek a missile rack, buy and equip, thank you very much. Boom. Okay. Exit. Four fire groups. Seek a missile rack.
Okay. Launch. Let's try this again. So we're now rocking around in this. Woo! I love it, I do. Let's try that again. Yes, good old mission giving me grief. It always gives me grief. What was all that about? Um, the wrong announcement on the galnet. I missed it. I haven't seen Burr Pitt's video yet, and he's pretty good on these sort of things, so. Oh, uh let's see. Beacon. I do have the surface scanner on this ship now. I didn't have it on my other ship. And I got SRVs. So I am totally tooled up for this. But in more and important news, hands up in the chat, or say something in the chat, if you've watched the last, the latest episode of Star Trek Picard yet. Mm. Now there are going to be some people who haven't watched it, and we're all going to go on about, you know, how Gates McFadden's face doesn't move upwards, and that's fine. That's not what I'm talking about, but mm, watch it. You have to watch it. Forget the ditheriness and all the rest of it, right? It's, um, quite a good little bit of nostalgia, to be fair. Season one was terrible. Season two, not bad. Season three so far, it's pretty good. It should have just stuck with season three. Right, come on, we're scanning. Dumbledore times. <laughs> uh. Let me get into into things here. Slow, slow down, uh, and let's have a look. Uh, that's on Amazon Prime.
Oh, this is giving me so much beef. But I should have them all. There's, there's no need. I don't get. I should. See, I'm not getting anything here. I wonder if it's because we're in a wing. Head for the planet in the mission description and onk. Currently unknown scan required. So what? I've got to scan every single bloody thing. Get lost. Can't be asked with all of that. Can't be asked with all of that. Something seems to be up with it. Yes, like, oh, it's probably a scan every planet, and then you might find one. Can't be bothered with that. Right, mission detected. Detected, lovely. A7. I'm going to go, however, to the nav beacon, just to be doubly sure. I know, everything is blue. Well, I'll just change the colours back now. Watch this. Hey, we're back. There you go. Right. That's where it's going to be, somewhere around there. Right. Brilliant. But then, there's all the colours down there. Water worlds. Well, that's interesting, isn't it?
Okay, we're at the yellow. There, there's the there. There it is. I reckon. Easy peasy. Part of the story is don't be a smart ass and change your hood colours. Twenty-eight thousand. Oh, there you go. To Posai. Posai. We're gonna be. We're gonna be a while. But thanks, Commander. Subscribing. Twenty-eight thousand light seconds. Oh my god. Oh no. So, I have been playing games this week. I've moved a computer in the house. My son's old gaming laptop. Anyway, that's irrelevant. I've been playing a Star Wars game, and the Star Wars game I've been playing is Galactic Battlegrounds Saga, which includes Galactic Battlegrounds and Clone Campaigns. And it's based on Total War, but this is a 20 year old game. I love it. And do you know what? I will sit there for three hours immersed in it and I will relax. What a game. The oldie runs 1080p. But what a fantastic game. I've no idea how much it is on Steam. No idea. But it is what it is. But what a game. Oh no, no, not Battlefront 2. Battlegrounds. Battleground. Kai Sheldon. Thanks for following. 07 Commander. Yeah, Battlefront is the first person shooter, which is amazing. Battleground is like isometric view of a battlefield. It's brilliant. Well, I think it's brilliant. If someone's a big favorite game, okay, it's gonna be a lead. Second favorite game, oh, Battleground. And it's ridiculous. And then, you know, it, it, it's better than Dark Forces, but it's a completely different game. Think of Empire at War as being the updated version. Well, exactly. Everyone finds my lack of faith disturbing. Even, even the art, even, even R2-D2. Um, yeah, so been playing a bit on the arcade as well, in the mornings, try and get myself a bit better. Um, but I've been trying the Return of the Jedi game like that. And I used to work in arcades when I was a kid, a student, and uh, I knew all the games. And that was by far one of the hardest games you could possibly ever play, which was the Return of the Jedi on that. Three favourite arcade games. Right. Star Wars, but the first Into the Death Star one. Empire Strikes Back was okay, but right? Second game, I thought was really good. But more the technology, not the actual game. Dragon's Lair. Because think about, think about, yeah, the vector one. Think about Dragon's Lair as the laser disc, right? So as Dragon's Lair, there was Firefox. Mad Dog McCree came later, right? Um, it looked amazing. And it was like 50 pence ago or a pound ago. Back like in the 80s, which was astronomic, right? Third game may surprise you, right? 1942, which was a top-down scrolling shooter map. Those are my three good games. But I like all games. See, never really a fan of Wonder Boy. You see all the girls come into the arcade, like, you know, to try and chat you up, because it was cool. Uh, Xevious was good. Uh, that was very good. And that was the 
Bitmap Brothers did that. Um, had it on the Atari. Yep, Star Wars The Seated Game, which if you can see in the background, I've got the stand-up version there. Same game. And Gauntlet, that's probably my number four. Elf Needs Food Badly. Um, and that was a good game. A really, if I had the space, right, I'd probably look for a Gauntlet 1-Up Arcade machine, because they did do them. Um... When you sold your arcade machine, made four full size arcade can be genuine joystick, but yeah, all polished timber and USB. Yeah, you know, and those arcade joysticks, they were fantastic because, I mean, the yoke on that one, it's pretty tough. I don't know how long that's going to last, to be perfectly honest. Um, you know, we are going to have to see. But yeah, those are my top three. Gauntlet for four. Um, I think Firefox, Laserdisc. Afterburner, another good game. Super Hang On, the original, and Outrun. Again, classics. A lot of people say, oh yeah, but you know, games like Tron. Meh. Not very good. You know, I didn't find that very engaging. But all the games at the time. When the boxing game came out, it called Final Fight. Oh my god, everybody was on that. Everybody was on it. Commando, good game. Pac-Man, fantastic, and ground breaking. Although Breakout, I prefer to Pac-Man. Strange, right? A friend of mine had a Space Invader machine um, from JPM. His father managed to somehow he got all them. It was God knows. But yeah, Breakout Arkanoid. Variation of the theme Arkanoid, isn't it? But with Breakout with power ups. Um, but favourite adventure game? The Hobbit on the Spectrum. How cool was that? Right? That got me into Tolkien. Cytron. Cytron. Now there's a game. Robotron. <gasps> Robotron. Robocop. <gasps> Again, now we're getting towards, you know, end of the 80s to the 90s now with Robocop. You know, get her alive, you're coming with me. Um, Robotron was good. Very annoying Robotron when in attract mode. It was always going... <laughs> And, and, and making the sounds. Lords of Midnight, that's been redone um, and is a very good game. I played that to death, I think, on the Spectrum. And then after that, Lords of Midnight, there was the Sons of... Sons of Doma? Yeah, Drew, Drew Wager did. Do Mark's Revenge. That's the one. That's the one. Classic. Classic. Bad Dudes versus Dragon Ninja. The Hobbit was an old text base. Uh, Timmy BCN. Um, there was some graphics in it. I've got a video of it on my channel. I, I went through it all and completed it, right? Um, like 40 years later. And I went through it. It goes on about 20 minutes, but I go through it all, and I get back without getting caught. And there was one screenshot I hadn't seen, the waterfall of Dale. Um, but that was a classic, classic game. That was absolutely fantastic. Uh, Double Dragon. DA Camper X. Is that what you're talking about there? Devil Dragon was fantastic. That was a good game. Good in two player. 
kind of took the pressure off a bit. Um, Street Fighter and all that sort of stuff. Do you know what? Yeah, don't know. You know? It was a game on the Spectrum. I'm not sure if it was on the other um, platforms. Might have been on the Commodore as well. But it was called Saboteur. And you played the ninja. You had throwing stars. You could kick it and all that sort of stuff. And that was quite good fun. But also on the Spectrum, there was Stonkers by Imagine Games. And that was like perhaps the first precursor to a tactical war game. Jarell, that's right, Jarell Entertainment was saboteur. Think about stonkers. And there was one part that if you could do it, if you controlled that bridge with your tanks, enemy was stuffed. Right? You could completely do it. Combat links was good. For helicopters, there was Krakatoa as well. I was never into never into Mortal Kombat. Um, or, or Street Fighter, which is strange given my martial arts background, right? But, right, Operation Wolf, classic game. And then he did an Aliens one, classic, right? And then, I think perhaps the last arcade game I played in earnest, I think, then it became about the consoles and not putting your mini in there and what have you. I think probably was the Aliens game. Down Barry Island in an arcade called Carousel. That was there. Cannon Fodder, good game. Um, Lemmings. Groundbreaking game, that, Lemmings. Another game as well, right? Here's one for you. Motorbikes. Wheelie. That was some bizarre, bonkers stuff, really, right? Lots of platforming in a motorbike. You're constantly moving. That was a good, bloody good game that was. TLL, that's actually called Tornado Low Level. And that was an early on game that, wasn't it? TLL, very good. Paradroid, yes. Uh, Night Flight. Remember that? Black screen, lines, Night Flight, land that plane. Forget it, you've got no chance. Um, when I think back, Danger Mouse took about an hour to load. Um, Star Strike, such a rip-off of that. <laughs> Star Strike, with the old Kempson joystick. You know, complete and utter, utter rip. Um, Right, what am I doing? Let's get in here first. Access permitted. Land on designated pad number three seven. Silent running. Heat signature lost. Please acknowledge if you require assistance. Right, the spectrum, and then <gasps> the spectrum, which was, of course, very good. And then I got an Atari ST uh, on the back of the Spectrum. Oh, I wish I'd kept that Spectrum. Got the Atari ST, and I think it just need all the capacitors need to be redone on that now. Yeah, and the thing is, you can get all these games via a web browser now. Okay. Which is, you know, which is fantastic stuff. Four ZX 81s. Those were the days. But, you know, I, I think I had two spectrums? Three spectrums? Two spectrums. Because of the edge connector blowing at the back. Huge, um, huge design fault there. Right, okay, so we yeah, are Zanchem, we've got Assassinate Gnome Pirate. Yeah. Uh. Assassinate Gnome Pirate there as well. Yeah, yeah, we're going to do him. Uh, 
Let's get into a ship for fighting. But I bought one of these... Um, I forget what it was called now. Again, it's on my channel. It had all the games loaded onto it, and it looked like a Spectrum. It had three keys at the load key. Um, up, down, left, right sort of thing. And that was good, but the build quality was utter crap. Utter, utter, utter crap. And you just might as well just use a browser now for it. You know? Um... Right, where are we? Crew. We got crew. That active. Yes. Um. In pit. Commodore 16. Now, now we're talking. Um, I've forgotten all about it. There's a Commodore 16 or the Vic 20? Oh, yeah, but, like, you know, that being that close to a monitor or a TV like that completely and utterly wrecked my eyesight. Ship released. Please exit the station safely and promptly. Yeah, the old Vic-20. But there was always that stuff in school, like, you know, people were going, oh, yeah, you know, the Commodore 64 was better than... Um, um, oh, I can't share these, son. Sorry. Um, I went to TV for a when I went to a jumble sale. Ha! <laughs> Do you know what? I was at a jumble sale. Oh my god, now we're talking about 10 years ago. My daughter was in a push chair. 12 years ago. Uh, where we used to live. In New. And, um,. <laughs> it was a funny one because let's do that Bakamu one then shall we because he had a BBC master or it might even have been a model B I think it was the master because the master had the two um, cartridge slots on the side and um he wanted something like a fiver for that, the monitor, the hard drives. And I had about a pound, one pound on me because I'd been taken to the shops and all the rest of it. And I was walking up on a men Sunday morning sort of like stroll. I said, look, will you keep it? I will come, st I'll come to your house and I'll give you the money. Not a problem. Oh, no, I'm going to let it go. You know, I had all the old um, Econet network connections on the back of it as well. And, and that was that was something, you know really was something. But yeah, good old computing, very nostalgic, but I think of the spectrum, that that was the stuff. It wasn't, I mean, just to have it in a corner as a piece of art for five pounds would have been something. And he had everything with it. You name it, he had, I don't think he had a Winchester Hard drive. Remember them? Park. Park the Winchester. The BBC Acorn was a different was different to the well it's the BBC Model B. Or there's a BBC Master. The Acorn became that. Came before that. It was the, the Model B and the Master, I think, that were in schools. If I believe right, I think the Acorn was the more sort of like consumerized sort of like precursor machine. I could be wrong, but what I remember is a long way back. But that was the stuff, right? And on the BBC, of course, there was Elite. But you also had Frack, the platformer with the, um, the guy with the yo-yo, caveman with the yo-yo. What was all that about? And there was another crystal there was a crystal mining game that was going around as well. 
But you know, I mean, Elite on that game there. You know, on that floppy disk. That's what it was all about. What is that little 80s game you picked up up the other day, Simon? Come on. Let's see if I've played it. I've played most things. Oh yeah, go on, what is it? 80 stuff. Grandstand Astro Wars. That's the little thing that looks like an arcade cabinet sort of thing with a joystick, isn't it? I believe. Yep. Sphealance, the Amstrad CPC. Oh yeah, I mean, I think that Vic, the Vic 20 was, I, I'm going to say it, it was diabolical, um, graphically. That'd be interesting to see, you know, interesting if you can get that work inside. In my Atari ST here, I think it has to be completely remade, different capacitors and, or, and do you know what, I just haven't got the time to mess about with that. And it's... It stopped loading games, and I got hold of a um, a floppy disk drive, and I got some. I got some again. I got some original Atari ST games from the computer, taken from the computer, the actual computer, and I managed to stream them onto YouTube or get them onto YouTube when I first started the channel out. And there's like Afterburner, and there's like some of the old favourites on the channel. Way, way, way back. Oh my god, it probably didn't cost that much. <laughs> but that's the price of nostalgia, everybody. You know? It's, it's the price of nostalgia. But my office, I've been told now, my office is looking, starting to look cluttered. And, um, yeah, not to buy any more stuff. Well, I haven't been told, I've been advised. And I've been told, well, that's not coming in the house. Um, although she did want the Star Wars arcade machine in the house. And I said, well, oh, come on now, we're... Where, where, where is that going to go? Really? Commodore 64 with a USB? I, no doubt. I mean, they're bringing back, like, you know, all the old machines, like... Whether or not the patents out on, is, has run out on the architecture, or they're doing it under license, I, I don't know. But, um... The Spectrum Next. remember but I bought one and this is going back I say about 10 years ago and oh it was terrible I mean, it, it works very infrequently Spectrum 000 something anyway it, it, it was whatever it was Right, well, this bloke hasn't turned up. Old Marcus Sharp. Normally, he, um... It'll pop up. What's going on with these missions? I've scanned the nav beacon and everything. Perhaps because it's your mission.
It is your mission. I thought I could go in there and like, you know, I don't. Okay, we'll just follow. I'll follow you. After you, my good man. Perhaps he's gone to the arcade. He could be. Perhaps he's run out of 10 pence pieces, as we have in the UK. Remember that? Put the pot of 10 pences. Um, I mean, I went to Vegas again a while back. And they have some bonkers idea of arcades there. Very big in the VR side of things and everything. <laughs> Maybe the target's looking for back boxes. But 1UP Arcade do do a 80s um, anniversary one. Dig Dug, Pac-Man, Pac Miss Pac-Man, Gallagher, Class class games, I'm thinking. And the missus goes, Oh, I have that Pac-Man. I thought, well, perhaps I'll get it you for your birthday. Oh, now fruit machines or gambling machines, I don't like. I, I don't do that. Again, working in an arcade, and I worked in several, it's just a complete and utter rip. The only time you win is that if you're lucky. There used to be people coming in, and look, especially the Bar X machines, right? Um, you know, the win percentage. <sighs> Crazy. Back is sharp. Updated. He's there. We're off. Could well be. I mean, people throwing, like an American in Vegas, quarters in. Ten dollars. Fifty dollars. Gamble, 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 gamble. And of course, like in places like Philadelphia, there's like Indian reservations where the casinos are there, right? Um, and, and I went there and I, and I, had, I had a look around and, and, and nothing against any of that but like it's not my bag I went for the shows, the spectacle, the lights all that sort of stuff I am nav locked. Just don't know where you are. Exactly. Exactly. I don't know what it's like in other parts of the world, but every advert break, there's. I think after about nine o'clock, it's like, um, Simon, where are you? Um, it's gambling, 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 gambling. Mr. Green, William Hill, Bet Fred. Um, whatever it is. It is endless. And it's annoying. You should be able to, because you pay a TV license, still. They pay, not so much on the streaming services, right? But for Sky, why am I getting adverts? If I pay for Sky. Alright. Um, ITV, Channel 4, I get it. It's funded by adverts. Right, because they don't get any of the TV license the BBT gets out. Adverts, right? But for Sky, right? Sky One, well not Sky One, it's called Sky Showcase now. Why am I getting adverts if I'm paying? Don't get out on Netflix. You're right. And I was watching a bit of the F1 on Thursday. <coughs> I think it was Thursday. Anyway, I was down the pub with the missus. 
Yeah, bet solo, bet your life. Bet your house, bet your ass. Really frustrating. Um, so, I'm quite... You know, I'm not prude. I understand these things go on like, you know, and I think it's the Grand National. Race. Could be the Grand National today. Anyway, whatever. Um, I understand these things go on. I'm not interested. End of. Like you say, if it was that easy, then Ed wouldn't be doing it. But we do get a lot of those adverts. A hell of a lot of those adverts. Okay, if you're dropping, no dramas. He's having a right go at you, isn't he? Let's smash him up. So the people at home can see what we're shooting. I'm not shooting the good guy, Simon. Don't panic. I'm shooting the guy who was shooting you. Let's give him a thrashing. gone. Ah, we are taking him to church. Doesn't like it up in. Through the lance. He's trying to bolster his shields up. Shields out. His shields are out, I should say.
Egon. Let's get after his mate, Keith. All right, Keith. Keith's shields are now down. He's throwing all the tinsel out. It's giving us time to recharge a bit. Yes, now he's going to have it. Taking fire. Repeat, taking fire. Latest, Keith. Enemies FSB going online, Commander. Let's take him out. No, thank you. Oh. Easy. Well, I'd be fine with that. Get rid of the BBC and Britbox, right? Here's the thing. I'd pay the TV licence. We didn't get to see Spitting Image. If I wanted that, I'd have to get... I'd have to pay for Britbox. But I'd get all that anyway. It was a right rip. And now, right, we haven't even got Doctor Who. Because Disney's bought that. Don't get me started. Not that I'm that bothered. I mean, to be fair, I think Doctor Who's at its day a bit. Um, if you know what I mean. I, I think I think it's done. I think it's a, it's a done thing. Yeah, they've lost it. Disney have got it. They bought they bought Bad Wolf Studios. Bring the fighter in now, sir. So so yeah. Shame room. Um I can't share these ones, they're not, they're not, um, they're not wing missions, unfortunately. Exactly, they, they don't, they're not interested. They're not interested in Doctor Who, you know? I mean, my daughter is now starting her GCSEs, right? And at 14, and they're starting to get through some of the stuff. Okay, no problem. I get it. Um, fortunately, or unfortunately for her, she has to read Macbeth by William Shakespeare. And and here's, here's the fortunate thing. I did that when I did O-Levels, which was the qualification that predated GCSEs. Anyway, so, no problem. Um, on Amazon Prime, there was the Michael Fassbender um, Macbeth Hollywood dramatization. Now, I've read the book a couple of times. Uh, yeah, but I, I get the gist. And I said, I couldn't, I couldn't understand it, whether my hearing was going or whatever. Anyway, got hold of one then. Um, Stratford Dramatics. I had, to, I had to pay for it, man. £3.50 to rent it out. To so, right, watch this. And it was the play, right? It was, um, you know, it was the stage play, which was better. You could understand. People were projecting their voices. They weren't muttering to sound all moody. And what have you. Which was great. So, you know, but like... She's not going to sit down and let him look like... No chance. Ready and waiting, Commander. Right, he's getting it. This ain't gonna save you, mate. Look at him. Little man in his anaconda.
We're really trying to bolster shields out of gone. Power plant gone. Power plant gone, yet he's still firing. Oh, Frontier, Frontier. What's going on? If I've taken the power plant out... You know? What is going on? So do I. And I have to read your book, Simon. I, I was looking at them on, I said, talking to my missus, Simon's books, Simon's books, Simon, Simon's books, I said, right? I thought, I'm going to have some of that. J. Elric, you're right, and she was struggling. Dad, Dad, what, you, what, what, you, why, why are they talking like this? I said, this is the Shakespearean's English. <laughs> I said, well, I, I also bought her a book off Amazon, which has got a breakdown of the scene. It's a bit like the old Brody notes used to get, that sort of stuff. So I got her some of that uh, to help her out. Because you want your kids to do well. And I said, right, I said, I, I said, I've read this. Me and your mother are going to the pub. You watch this. When I come back, I will test you. And you can see it going, shit. Um... Which I kind of did. Then I ate my kebab. But anyway, all that aside, um, it's good that you can help your kids with that. But I'm just wondering whether there should be an update of the syllabus. They're not going to read something like this. Christ, they're not even going to read Lord of the Rings, are they? Right? I mean, they struggle with a Harry Potter book. Everything, everything is. But you're right there. You no, know, The Hobbit. It's a children's book. Fantastic book. Right? And you gotta get the gotta get it contextualized for Lord of the Rings. In fact, everyone watched Lord of the Rings and expected The Hobbit to be like Lord of the Rings, which I mean Peter Jackson did a pretty good job with that to be fair. But it's a completely different story tale. Right? Yes, I know, Simon. Hal's Space Jock is indeed free. <laughs> Doctor of the Daleks. Ooh, oh yeah, I know. Well, they tried to sort of like, sort of like, spice him up and making him able to hover upstairs, wouldn't it? Flying Daleks, uh, which obviously wasn't wasn't a thing in the seventies. Doctor Who. So, right, get that Dalek on a rope up there and hang Jeff from that rope, and then like they weren't going to do that. They just had him rolling around on casters. But, um, you know, I get it. I get it. Right, let's bring the fighter back in. Eri, bringing the fighter in immediately. Power to the shields. Kept it. Uh, where are we going next? Okay. But yeah, that was the thing. Rings of Power. The only bit I enjoyed of Rings of Power was when they... Well, there were two parts, actually. Commander. The bit where I was proved to be, I think, right. And the bit when Mordor was created. Because so I went, that's Mordor, that is. My missus went, what? Is it Mordor? Creation of Mount Doom. Mordor. Right? Which I think was perhaps the most exciting bit. And then I was talking to my boss at the time in work, and I went, and we had a good chat about sci-fi and Lord of the Rings and popular culture and that sort of stuff. Nothing ever about work. I and mean, he was like, blah, 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 blah. Mordor, that was. I said, he was, wow, oh, really? So it's Mordor. Oh, I just thought they blew something up. I said, no, 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 it's Mordor. Mordor, like, really? I said, yeah. I said, and then the second thing was, again, talking to the boss. And I said, well, it's Gandalf then, isn't it, at the end? He said, what do you mean? Peppinelli, how you doing? Um, I said, well, it's Gandalf at the end, because he does that one line that he used from Lord of the Rings. Everyone's wondering, is it Saruman? Is it this? Is it... Is It's not, obviously not going to be Sauron, because he's the other fella. But, like, 
it's um it was Gandalf because you know always follow your nose was was the line they have Harry Potter is now gonna be a a thing isn't it and when I say a thing it's gonna be a 10 is it, is it a 10 season t you're right there Lord narco Wookie totally right um, and apparently they're recasting it. Now, I is the thing right? Yeah, Sherry Potter. You're not wrong there. Is the thing right? I was talking about this last week. Right during celebration, they announced Star Wars celebrations been on in the UK, right at the Excel Centre. And we went a couple of years ago. It was quite good fun. Anyway, lots of announcements, lots of films, blah, blah, blah. New film, Daisy Ridley as Rey, 15 years after whatever happened in the last three films. But I, I... Anyway. And my problem here is, is that Adam Driver, who played Kylo Ren, and then the other two who played the other two, right? The Stormtrooper who played Finn, and the guy who played... Oh. Right. And Daisy Ridley were like, no, 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 no more talking about Star Wars. We've done three films of Star Wars. Don't want to talk about Star Wars. We've moved on. Right. Now, old Daisy Ridley's back, isn't she? She's back with her own film. Same thing, right? Same thing now with um, Harry Potter. So you've got Rupert Grint, who's all for a bit of bit of Harry Potter and Ron and all the rest of it. Yeah, I'm open to some of this. And then you've got Emma Watson and Daniel Radcliffe going, no, 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 not doing that. No, 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 no. We're done with it. And Emma Watson has been very adamant about being done with it, right? So this opportunity has arisen, right? And no, 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 not doing any of that now. Not going to do any of that. Because they thought they were going to do The Cursed Child. Um, because J.K. Rowling's involved and we don't agree with her beliefs. It's a film. She's not going to put her beliefs into the film. Is she? I don't think she has that sort of power. But anyway, whatever. Right? But here's the problem. Put enough money in front of somebody... <laughs> cut the work off enough people are going to come back for looking at it call the blank verse a pattern of unrhymed lambic piamic iambic piameters oh iambic pendameters eh that brings me back I really didn't like that Daisy Ridley character I didn't like it like it at all. Weak. But anyway, whatever. Seven to nine sphere lance were indeed very poor. Very poor indeed. But like, at least give kids a chance, right? When studying the uh, English literature and what have you, give them something that they're going to be able to relate to. Um. Yes, you're right. Even melting her probably wouldn't have done the job there. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Do you know what? I, I just think, I just think some of these, some of these actors are a bit hypocritical. Old Patrick Stewart was the same. No, no, no. Moved on from Star Trek. No, 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 no. And he did. He, he played. Um, he was in Moby Dead. Get his Professor Xavier. No, he's bloody back on Star Trek, isn't he? Eh? Hmm. Yes. So yeah. It does it does make me laugh a bit, to be perfectly honest. Oh no no, no. I mean, play to your strengths, right? You could have rocked in there, Harry Potter cast, the three of you, and asked for what you wanted. Right? Asked for what you wanted. And done it 15 years on after Harry Potter, or I don't know, 20 years on. Well, I don't know how long it is, I don't know. 
20 years on. Let's say it's 20 years, right? Job done. Well, Sphere Lance, you're right. Patrick Stewart was a member of the Royal Shakespeare Company, probably still is a member of the Royal Shakespeare Company, and did an awful lot on stage, along with Malcolm McDowell and all the rest of it. So, spot on, you're right there. But he is now back on the old Star Trek. So I'm just saying, oh, no, 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 we need more Star Trek. And now he's back on it. All right, so it's... You know, I understand, oh, I don't want to be typecast. But if being typecast is going to get you three films, four films, Harry Potter, seven films, and ten seasons worth of work, right? I'd be alright with being typecast. Oh, I do the conventions, like old David Prowse as Darth Vader. He'd do all the conventions. He'd go home with a big old stack of cash back to Bristol to spend on cider when he was alive. He was laughing, laughing, signing the pictures. Got them right by there. Right? Um, one moment. I've just got to. Uh, I think I'll shoot this guy. Um, yeah, you know. I just think it's a bit hypocritical. I do love it when it, you just drop in, don't they? Like, you know, pop. Yeah, look. And now he can't get any, any closer to me. He's trying to get his shields back up now. And he's just out of my reach by turning out. It's like a battle of fire and ice when you get two big ships like this. Now he's throwing all that tinsel out of his window. Right, right, here it is. All that tinsel. Here we go, we're going in, we're going in, we're going in, we're going in. Yes, out that. Oh, well, that's not going to help you. His shields are down. Oh, no. I'm not even bothering launching the fighter, to be honest. Well, he's having a good old ram, isn't he? Well, he's gone now. Ha-ha! <laughs> oh, you are. Look, people are scanning me. Oh no. Perhaps I should launch the fighter. Okay, powering up the SLF. Stand by, Commander. Right. Fighter is online. Ready for action. Who's having a nose in? Let's see who's going. I'll be the shield of justice. The shield of justice. Yeah, Pep. I, I was playing it last. Um, I, I unlocked sorcery the first time on and solo last week. So I have been playing it. I will join. I I did try joining the other day, but I think I need updates. So I must remember to have a look at that, and perhaps I'll do that tomorrow. So I'll have to think about how I gotta do that. Is there a way I, I just connect sort of thing? Or or is that something else? I'll have to, I'll have to see what I can do tomorrow. Oh look at this! He is wanted!
Well, there you go. In your little asp scout. Gone. Okay, easy. I'll, 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 I'll get right on that then. Do a bit of Conan tomorrow. I think. Jasper Taylor. Send the fighter after him. I can't be asked to get there. Moving to attack position. So yeah. Target shields offline. Frame shift charge detected. Okay, that before I get wrong, Drew's error. I have to. I can't remember what error I had, but um, yeah, we'll we'll get back on that tomorrow. I think it'd be quite good, that. Again, I've been telling Simon and everybody else I've been playing, I think, a old cheesy 20-year-old Star Wars Battleground stuff, which is really cool. Right. Are we done? Yeah, I think we could be done here. Yeah. We are done. Right, let's bring that back then. Yes, Commander. Docking fighter immediately. The long drive? The hell's that? Oh, that game! Uh, yeah, I, I, that just seems like... Hmm. Right, let's get back to the station and drop stuff off. Should we do a cheeky landing mission? Sounds a bit like, um, that sounds a little bit like Mad Max. Mad Max the game, but without killer apocalyptic people. I got time for a sneaky ground mission. It would be rude not to. Go in, drop these off, get the influence. Yeah, so I've unlocked sorcery in Conan the Barbarian. Not a clue what to do with it. <laughs> Not a clue what to do with it at all. But it seems very good. But you need, need to do some more dungeons. A bit like the, the Dregs dungeon. I enjoyed that. Yeah, I've made a bench. I got all my crystal. I'll have to watch some videos on it. Ooh, the witch queen, eh? Ooh. Cunning.
go. J to disengage. idea where the witch queen could be. Oh, right, okay. Let's go in and lock the slot because we're going to be a cheeky monkey. And I'm going to die because I've overshot the slot. Now I'm stuck on my landing gear. Landing gear oh, now I'm stuck. <laughs> oh no! Fire! Oh, no, we're off. Notice to all vessels. Please beware. Heavy traffic reported in the area. Yeah, I am the heavy traffic. We're going in. That station was going to take me right out. Drop these off. Landing complete. A light when ready. The Imperial Flight Operations Bureau wishes you a pleasant and productive visit, Commander. Let me just pay my fines. Let's get into the ship. Oh, you got too much cargo. Too much cargo. Too much cargo. <clears throat> Stealing documents. The Badger's Wrath. Right, I'm on my way now. Look, Han Solo. Um, 
Right. Got a settlement raid there. That'd be a good one. We'll do that. There's a settlement raid there. Might as well do that one. Um, procurement. I've got acquire a sample. And grab a pathogen. There is influence there. Um, we can do the two combat ones. Yeah. Got a protection one. Uh, rest the takedowns. Well, I got two. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? I need right, here we are, look. Like yesterday. Transactions. Um, here we are, look. Exterminate Bakmanu Purple. Whatever. Share that mission. Okay, off we go. To the ship, Batman. All right, what's going on here? You looking to help some folks out? I've got something you. for you. We know that a starport Hello. <laughs> is more than just a place to refuel. For many, it's home. That's why the Borg Corporation is the only Okay. I do like the look of these ships. Okay, here we go. Let's get in there. And we're off. They're tipped off. They know we're on our way, Simon. You are clear to resume predetermined flight path. Imperial flight operations. Yep, we're off. Now signing off. So all the sh all the films that I shows that I've watched, I I've watched. Finished watching the rookie this morning, Picard last night, Mandalorian, and God knows whatever else I watched. Right, who do I need? Purple partnership. Pianzola Hydroponics Holdings. Where we're going. Yeah, there's a couple of new things I quite fancy. Oh, I watched Ted Lasso as well. I've been enjoying that. That's been quite good. Yeah. 
But yeah, um... Watch that Operation Fortune. That was quite good fun. That was... I want to say Amazon. Might have been Netflix. One of the two services. Quite a bit on Disney as well lately. That's if I can get near the tech, the TV when it's like gold hunters, deep cold gold, white water gold, deep sea gold, gold divers, some something of something snake mountain. That's all the stuff she watches. Australian gold hunters, opal hunters, jade hunters. That's all that's ever on. Does crack me up. Hunting the Jade Hunters. <laughs> Hunting the Jade Hunters with deep cold gold white river rafting opals. That would be the mashup, wouldn't it? Very rarely do I watch... I mean, I'll watch the rugby when the rugby's on, obviously. But as than that, I suppose news. That could be classed as lies, live TV. But this week it's been monopolised by the fact that Biden's been in... Ireland. Which might have something to do with the 40 Irish Ameri... 40 million... Irish American voters uh, there in the U uh, in the US but hey I don't go into politics here Here we go. Slow this down a bit. We are going in. Still going in. Been shot at already. Been shot at. Oh, I'm on land. Right. Thinking cheeky monkey in it. Get the car out. They're going to have it. Low gravity warning.
Drive assist off. Right in. Only 20 occupants. Shooters out. Shields on. Do, 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 I can't find anything here. Do, 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 Oh dear. Yeah, we'll have that. Shooters. Here they come. I heard something. <laughs> I will. Do, 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 do. Okay. Stop shooting that stuff at me. <laughs> what do you have? On him. One. Ah! Cheeky scan. Entering a pressurized environment. Area. It's a restricted area. Ooh. Data. We'll have all of that. Goodness, look at this. I love a nice, well-stocked and appointed base. I love it. Atmospheric data, eh? The Dominator suit. Designs. Downloading data. 
here they come, look. Still no sign. Nothing to report. Uh, Weapon! Uh, I won't go down so easy! Oh, yes, you will. That's 13 down. Simon over there. Been in there, nothing going on. Been in there, nothing going on. Is it going to get all fruity over here? find someone who's got the access. What was that? Over here. Oh. Oh. Ah. That'll do nicely. You can't win this. Security profile. We need help here now. I'm gonna call in an alert. Go on in. I'm not gonna make the plunge bit a difference. <laughs> Do that just to annoy people. Run, run in the faceplate. You better stop doing that. One more to go, and he's going to be in there. Woo, we're done. Simon's in the old power centre. That was quite nice. Nice and easy. building schematics. Anything up here? Easy pips. Easy pips.
You can stick them on the walls? I didn't know that. Um... Quick intermission, I gotta take a phone call. Okay. I am back. I didn't know you could stick him to walls. So how'd you do that then? Is there a special key to place it? And if so, how long does it go? Well, oh, I see. You put it on the wall, it stays there, and it makes a shield. I get it. Yeah, you threw it at me and missed. And it stuck to it. Well, I'll we'll have to try that. Cotton mines. Perhaps you can stick it to an SRV and then drive it into people. Oh no, I'm being interdicted. I'm not really set up for this. Oh well, hang on. But he's clean. good doing stuff for anarchists. Respect to become an anarchist yourself sort of thing, no? Into cotton mines. Well, I was surprised it didn't do, like, it's lacking the mine aspect of things, isn't it? Right? I think an elite. Yeah, great. Three different types of grenade. I understand. And we've seen those grenades on other games before. But like, you know... He 
It's lacking a mine, like a sort of a claymore. Yeah. Cotton mines, cotton mines. I think this is a good one actually on um, on the influence. Nice and easy. Nice and easy does it. Of course there is. There's always someone at the front door. Well there you go. And now they've gone. I wonder if they if that's actually what I think it is. If it is, oh dear. It wasn't very big. Cotton mines, we're going in. I could just level this from orbit and have done with it. I mean, this is just, you know, crazy bonkers. We're dropping. Oh, yes, we're going in, all right. Been alerted to my presence. Doesn't look like there's much power on. shoot you. Let's have a go. Oh dear. Okay, shields on, guns out, let's go. Then you're finished. Target in sight. Oh. Ah. We need urgent reinforcements at our location. Ah. Ah. Using a little bit of environment there. shooting me now oh it's you is it no target is just getting out the way because he was shooting a skimmer I wouldn't say I'm fleeing. Well, I am walking backwards, granted, but... Get him! Understood! 
Oh my god, now what? I'm right in the middle of a battle here. Well, that looks like Simon. <laughs> Hello. Here we go. That's what it's all about, people. Oh, it's always dramas. Little bit of optical fiber. Let's rearm. Quick! It's all kicking off. Where did he come from? I haven't got a target count, so I don't know. That's real trouble. Who's attacking my bloody shit? Look at this bloody sausage. Oh look, here they come. Oh my god! It's a bloody conspiracy is what it is. Hello? No, I can't shoot him. Why can't I shoot him? Have that. Where's this? Bloody thing that I was shooting me. Where he comes. Do, 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 do. How many have we got left to do now? 
because it feels like I've been... Finished five minutes ago. <laughs> it's still going. I but I haven't here. finished. Do you know what I mean? Still happening. Transfer complete. Final signs stabilized. I think we're done. I don't know. Transactions. No, I'm still going by the look of it. Well, everyone seems to be dead. Drama. I don't know. Electromagnets. I think I'm done. I think all I gotta do is leave. I reckon. Who we got? No members at the facility. Where's my ship? A member of your team is under attack. Under attack? Is there still stuff going on? No, it was just, um, the mission was...
eliminate criminal faction occupying the settlement, which I have. I turned that gun off. Just to wind me up. Have some of that as well. And the sparky. I don't know if I completed that or not. I'd like to say I did. Let's get back to the dock, see what happens. And then I gotta sort out all the family drama because it would seem No one can sort out anything without me. It would seem that way, wouldn't it? For example, where's my servicing dock and my MOT? Well, I don't know where his MOT or servicing documentation is. I just want a quiet life. That's what I want. I think every man just wants a quiet life. I don't know. There you go. There you have it. Right, back to the station to cash in. Yeah, we've done pretty well. I mean, mm, perhaps a bit of Conan tomorrow, uh, quite possibly. Quite possibly. Nicely. 
Bit of extra scanning. You never know what might pop in. And there wasn't that many calamities. Well, there was the first couple of missions in it, but it was still a successful mission. By a monkey. And by who? Power on through it. Hopefully, you won't get pulled out again, but you never know. Entirely sure about that one. If not, we've done one. in the old who were misses pad 15 there you go Airport services as cash in. Landing complete. Initiating lockdown procedures. Our facilities are at your disposal, Commander. Well, on only one completed. Influence it is. I'll have to go back and have a think about that one. Anyway, but not today. For those of you who are stuck with me, thanks very much. If you haven't done so, hit that like and subscribe button and give me a follow or whatever it is on whatever platform you are. I've been Ricardo. This has been Elite Dangerous. Thanks to everyone in the chat and Simon and Narco and all the others who have taken part. It's been fantastic talking to you all. I'll see you all soon.